In this video, we're going to derive the moments of a binomial distribution, specifically the mean and the variance. But we're also going to show that it is a PDF, that it sums to 1, because that trick or that knowledge there we'll use when we drive the mean and the variance. So, is it a PDF, meaning the probability of every outcome does it sum to 1? So that's what we need to check. So we, we're summing from 0 to n because this the values that it can take are 0 to 1, n. And so that means that we're summing this equation. Okay. Well, this is the binomial expansion of this. So whenever you take an x plus y raised to the n, you can write it as this binomial expansion. Okay. But, what is P plus Q? Up here, you know, Q is 1 minus P. So this is 1 minus P. So the P's cancel and we're left with 1. So it's 1 to the N, which is 1. Okay. Now, it seems a little trivial that, that I did that. But we're going to make use of this binomial expansion uh, a couple times. And so the goal is to manipulate the equation so it looks like this and then it goes to one okay so let's let's do the mean first um, so that's the expected value of x so you sum over all values you plug in that x times the uh, probably mass function so then this next step I write this combinatorics um, in factorial divided by x factorial times n minus x factorial except for the x factorial I cancel one of them here and so that's what we were left with this this is the same as this except for this is expanded in in factorial notation and the x cancels with one of the the x factorial here so it's x minus one now another note also when we're adding and we let x equal 0, this is 0. So we might as well go from 1 to n because, you know, we're adding 0. It doesn't affect it, okay? So <clears throat> then the next step, I'm going to factor out one of these n's. So it'll be n minus 1 factorial. And I'm going to take one of these p's out front, okay? So that's what I do here. So... We're left with x minus 1. And then here, we subtract 1 and add 1. So this is the same as this. I take one of the n's out front, n minus 1 factorial. And then in for this, I subtract 1 and then add 1. So this doesn't change this. And otherwise, it's all the same. Now, for the binomial expansion, we have to go from 0 to a number, and we go from 1 to a number. So we're going to, and this is just an index, so we're going to change it. We're going to let i equal x minus 1. And then what that does, it, it decreases these, these indexes by 1, so we go from 0 to n minus 1. <coughs> and, uh, pardon my cold, <coughs> so x minus 1 is i. I, those don't change. That's I, that's I, so n minus 1, n minus 1 factorial. So here we go from 0 to n minus 1, and this is the binomial expansion of this. And again, this is 1, 1 to a power is 1, so we just left with np. So the mean is np. Now, before we do the variance, we're going to look at a, uh, a um, it's kind of like a factorial expectation. We're going to look at this. So that means we're going to sum over all values and we're going to put in the x minus 1 here and here. So now what we do is I'm going to, this right here is x times x minus 1 times x minus 2. So a couple of those will cancel. And then I'm also I'm going to take out an n and an n minus 1 and one of these p's. And notice that when x is 0, that's 0. 
and when x is 1 this is 0 so really we can go from 2 to n and that's what I do here so I take out these I take out two p's so we're left with minus two of them and we subtract two and add two so it doesn't change it subtract two add two and then those factored into here left that now this is just an index so we let's let i equal x minus two and that's going to decrease everything by two so we're going from zero to n minus two and then that's that's i that's I, I, I. So again, this is a binomial expansion, <coughs> which, which is 1. So we're left with just this out front. Okay. But note that this, you know, if you multiply the x in, we get this, x squared minus x, and then that is equal to this. Okay. So now let's calculate the variance. And the formula for variance is x squared minus uh, expected value of x squared minus expected value of x quantity squared. But this, you know, is not this. So if we subtract and add this same quantity, this is what we just calculated. And in, in, expected value of x is np from the first page, np squared. So now we can just plug in the values. For this piece, we're going to plug in that. And then we have plus NP and then minus N squared P squared. We uh, multiply this out. We get this. Those stay the same. Well, that cancels with this. And we factor out an NP here. And then we left with 1 minus P. And then that is what we call Q. So NPQ is the variance of a binomial. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. That's all I have for today. Please like it if you did and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Oh, a little side topic. I'm going to start a mini series on sets, fields, sigma fields, and probability measures from a very simplistic viewpoint. I would guess there's probably going to be five, six, or seven little mini videos um, trying to break it down at a very simplistic level to so we can understand what it means. Anyway, uh, that's all. Bye.